Today on Sugar Spun Run, I'm showing you how to make my key lime pie bars. Hey Sugar Spun Bakers, Sam here, and today I am so excited to be sharing another carefully tested, well-researched, and perfected recipe. This is actually an older recipe. It's been on the blog for a few years now, but as many of you know, I'm trying to get videos for all of my recipes. A lot of you have asked for them, so here it is. Now to begin, you're going to want to preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Now the first thing we're going to be doing today is making our graham cracker crust. In a mixing bowl, we'll combine one and a half cups of graham cracker crumbs with two tablespoons of granulated sugar, one tablespoon of firmly packed light brown sugar, and just stir these ingredients together until they're completely combined. Next, you're going to need six tablespoons of butter. Now this can be salted or unsalted, either is fine, but I usually just use unsalted butter because that's what I have on hand. You wanna make sure you get all of that butter in there and we'll just toss everything together until all of the graham cracker crumbs and sugar are nicely moistened. All right, this is looking pretty good. So we are going to put it in our pan in just a second. You're going to need a nine inch square pan for today's recipe. But before we add the graham cracker crumbs, I like to take a piece of foil and just press that into the pan, evenly into the pan, and up the sides. I like to do this because then once the bars are finished baking, it's really easy for me to just lift them right out, out of the pan and slice them without cutting them in the pan, which can be a little awkward. All right, let's add those graham cracker crumbs into our pan, to that foil. And I'm just using a spoon. I like to press a little bit up the sides. It doesn't have to go all the way up. You could even skip this step, but it just holds the bars together nicely if you press them a little bit up the sides. And then you want the bottom to be nice, a nice firmly packed even layer. You can use a measuring cup to make a quick work of this. I'm just using my spoon and really tamping down the graham cracker crumbs until I have an even layer. All right, now to help this crust hold together really well, I do like to pop it in the oven for a little bit before I add the filling. So we're just going to take this over to our oven and bake it for just seven to eight minutes. While your crust is baking, we can go ahead and prepare our key lime pie filling. In a new bowl, we're going to combine two 14 ounce cans of sweetened condensed milk. Whatever you do, please don't, do not substitute evaporated milk. I've had people do that before. It's not going to set up the same way. The next thing you need is key lime juice for these key lime pie bars. Now, ever since I moved, I have had a really difficult time. I, I, it's been impossible for me to find key limes in any of my local grocery stores, which has been really sad. However, if you are like me and can't find key limes, then you can buy bottled key lime juice instead. Um, this isn't an ad for this company. It's just the only key lime juice I've ever been able to find. And it works really well and has a really good flavor. So. Fortunately, this can be found in many grocery stores right next to the lemon juice. You'll need two thirds cup of lime juice and you're also going to need one third cup of full fat sour cream. Now, if you had key limes on hand, I would also recommend adding uh, one to two teaspoons of lime zest just for a little extra punch of flavor. But since I don't have any, I'm not going to be adding it. And I don't want to use traditional lime zest just because it can be a little bit coarser. It has a slightly different flavor. I'll use some on top for the garnish, but I don't want to add it in to my filling here. So I have everything combined, so I'm just going to want to whisk this together until it's nice and smooth. It's going to look a little separated at first, but if you start in the center and just keep whisking outward, everything should come together and you should have a nice smooth filling. Okay, so my graham cracker crust finished a little bit ago. I usually like to let it cool for maybe five minutes before I add the filling. So now that this is ready, I'm just going to pour my filling into the graham cracker crust. And it's a pretty thick filling, so I'll just use my spatula because I want the surface to be as nice and smooth as possible. All right, now this will need to bake in the oven until it's set, which doesn't take very long. It usually takes about eight to nine minutes in the oven, and I'll show you what it looks like when it's finished. Careful, your pan may still be hot because it did just come out of the oven a little bit ago, so make sure you use oven mitts if you need to. All right, so this has been baking for eight minutes. I want you to see how it looks. If I jiggle the pan, it's nice and set. It's not liquidy. It doesn't even look like jello. It's nice and it's, it's pretty firm. Now, before we can dig in, just like with classic key lime pie, you're going to have to let this cool completely and chill in the fridge for several hours. I usually let it sit at room temperature until it's cold to room temperature, and then I pop it in the fridge where it's going to need to chill for, I wanna say at least four hours, but preferably overnight. Now I have some key lime pie bars that I prepared yesterday specifically for this occasion. So let's go ahead and cut into these. Now you can see why I use the foil because it's just so easy to lift this up. 
and move it over to my cutting board. I'm gonna cut this into nine squares. And this is optional, but I feel like no key lime pie is complete without some whipped cream. So we are just going to do some dollops of whipped cream on top of each square. And this is just a half batch of my homemade whipped cream, which I'll make sure to link to in the recipe. Now, just for garnish, I like to add a little bit of lime zest. Preferably it would be key lime zest, but I'm just using, this is actually a Persian lime. I'm just using a little bit of a Persian lime zest on top, just because it adds a nice pop of color. And that is how incredibly easy it is to make my key lime pie bars. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's recipe. These are the perfect combo of sweet, but mostly tart. I think you're going to love them. If you try it out, please leave me a comment and let me know what you think. I always love hearing from you. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Mm. These are incredible.